Two at a time. Two at a time. Let's go. Hurry up. Hey, make sure you have three points of contact when you get up top. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Evac. 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 Alright, let's go next two. Not yet, not yet, not you two. Keep your close of contact. Alright, go ahead. Keep your close of contact. Is someone gonna... Uh, okay, I'll pour you guys in the water. Oh, so you have experience doing this. Go two at a time, hurry up. Let's go, three points of contact, let's go. Next two, let's go, hurry up. Make a beer car, let's go. There we go. Jump off. Go to the front, go to the front, next two. Make a, next two. Starboard, starboard! The vehicle that holds the November flag up is the one being recovered. That, that November flag goes. I'm gonna grab this one up. Alright. Hey, 
Okay, when he yells which side is... Watch four! Watch four! Starboard, starboard! Port to port! Port to port! Port, port to port! Starboard, starboard! Starboard, starboard! Sergeant Alejandro Bustamante, A223, Amphibious Assault Vehicle Crewman, 2nd Assault Fib Battalion. Uh, the training conducted today was uh, egress drills from the AAV as well as the towing drills from one AAV to another AAV, uh, resembling a disabled AAV in the water. The purpose of the training today was to get the Marines uh, comfortable with egress drills as far as uh, how to help the personnel in the back of the vehicle getting out of the vehicle in a safe and calm manner as well as the throwing of ropes for a disabled vehicle to conduct towing operations in the water. Some of the experience for the Marines were for them to get familiarized with uh, how to egress the vehicle as well as assist the embark personnel in a safe and calm manner to the top of the vehicle to conduct recovery operations as well as the towing of vehicles in case a vehicle is disabled and take it to the next safe haven. The Marines today did meet those expectations and they showed that they're more than capable of conducting amphibious operations. This training uh, benefits the Marines. It gets them, gives them one step before going into the water. It's a crawl, walk, run method. We like to do it on land first and obviously in a calmer sea state before actually getting into the ocean. Uh, so today they did it in a controlled environment as far as throwing the ropes, and then recovering the vehicle as well as the egress process of getting out of a vehicle. Training like this promotes safety and readiness by getting the crews of the vehicles ready should they need to one day egress the crews out of the vehicles as well as the conducting of towing the vehicle to the next uh, safe haven. Egress is the calm and collective manner of exiting the vehicle in a slow sinking when the vehicle is slow sinking. Training like this is conducted every six months uh, the way we do it is we will conduct this training once a week and we'll get the Marines freshened up should we need to get in the water, for example, a ship op or an amphibious operation that's coming up. So that way, when we do get in the water, they're already familiarized with, with it once again. So some of the emotions that the Marines face in general inside of the AV, because the AV is a, a confined space in water, which is an unnatural thing to do. Uh, sometimes they will get claustrophobic and they do get a little, I'd say, sketched out on the vehicle itself. Um, and then in, in an egress situation, they get scared once they have to go up top on the top of the vehicle should they need to get in the water and be recovered by another vehicle, as well as if it's just a regular troop-to-troop uh, -troop transfer. So Marines do tend to get scared because, as mentioned before, the vehicle is unique in its own. It carries 21 combat loaded troops and it's the only vehicle in the entire Department of Defense that can carry an entire company of infantrymen from ship to shore and follow on objectives. So the way this training helps them is they get a, a repetition pretty much like almost everything else that we do. Uh, we do the, the crawl walk one method. They'll crawl on land, they'll throw ropes on land, they'll egress on land so that should they need to, uh, when it comes to the water, they are more than capable of doing the mission. The way it increases war fighting capabilities, it allows us to do our jobs and move the infantry as our doctrine requires us to, which is from ship to shore and follow on objectives. And it gets us ready to go in any climate, any place, because this is the only vehicle that can uh, crawl through almost any terrain uh, without any hiccups and uh, it's capable of doing the mission.